This is my grandparents' antique microscope that they gave to me when I was eight years old. I remember being obsessed with looking at everything I could find. And this is my antique microscope collection. So the one on the bottom was my dad's when he was a kid, and the one in the middle is mine that I got from my grandparents, and the one on the top was my great-grandfather's. Now we have a digital microscope, and when I found three dead bugs on the patio, I knew what we needed to do. I took microscopic photos of a bunch of stuff, and then the girls guessed what they were. Ty, what do you think this is? This one kind of looks like a destroyed burger. Um, that's like a lemon or something orange. It does kind of look like food, huh? It's Ty's ammonite fossil necklace. Oh. We got the chain up on top and the back of it on the top left. Oh. And, you know, those are all the so that's like the middle. Yep, that's the middle. What the? Are those all from the same thing? Uh-huh. It's four pictures from the same thing. What the? <laughs> oh, it's that? Yep, it's uh. Ty's drawing. Oh! <laughs> so oh, that's a flower. Red, that's the, the yellow flower. That's the blue. Okay, what do we think mm. this is? Is that... Your watercolor? Nope. Is it my girl? My flower bear girl? It is! Yep, that's crayon. You can tell it's a little waxier. So that's her eye on the top, and then that's part of the heart. Trippy, huh? Alright, okay, how about this one? Is that? That looks like carpet. It does look like carpet, you're right! You're gonna be shocked. It's the shadow under the monkey. <laughs> what? <laughs> look at the gel pen. It looks all like the... thick. What does that look like? Mm, it it looks like another gem. It looks like a rock. It does look like a rock. It is a rock. Oh. <laughs> How about this guy? What the? More rocks. <laughs> yeah. More rocks. More rocks. Teeny tiny rocks. Or one volcanic rock. All right, how about that one? That's a leaf. Yeah, that's a leaf. Oh, you're so close. It is made by nature to look like a leaf, but it is in fact the wing of the grasshopper. And this right here is his leg. <laughs> Trippy, huh? Uh, <laughs> okay, how about that one? What's that? <laughs> that's like a worm. You think it's a worm over here? Yeah, that looks like a worm over there. It is in fact... It's the body of the praying mantis. The underside where the big neck So we've got um, the eyeball on the bottom. <laughs> and the antenna in the middle there. And some legs. I don't like it. And his wing on the top. Oh, yeah. All right, what's this one? That's the bug. That's, on the, that's the green, shiny one. The, the June the beetle. The green the, beetle, the, yep. The green I love these so much. This one on the bottom right, this one's so pretty. These are all pretty. That green beetle was very photogenic. There's his little face <laughs> and his little hand. Okay, what's this one? It looks like, it looks like a part of Samuel's iPad. It's a flower! Oh, hey. Yeah. Okay, what's this one? No, that's a leaf. Yeah, that's a leaf. You're right. So this on the top is the front of the leaf, and the bottom is the back of the leaf. And what's this? That's... Another leaf. Another leaf. It is another leaf. That's the back of the leaf. And that top part is the front of the leaf. Isn't that weird that it looks so different? I feel like it's part of our recording place. You do? Because the yellow. It looks like a chip. It does look like a chip. The green part uh, is uh, the tape. Uh, the 3D printed um, dragon head. That's when it ties feet or something. Oh! It's the calendar art. So that's the, the dots are the calendar uh, printed and the, some of the text. What do you think that is? Oh, what? For some reason, it looks like part of a car to me. Part of a car? Okay. What? This is pencil, and that's gel pen. What? And the, the paint part is kind of speckledy. It's got a texture to it. Isn't that interesting? 
Who's <laughs> that? <laughs> that looks like dried looks like out foam. honey. Looks like foam or dried out honey. Those are good guesses. And grain. It's wood. What? Alright, how about that one? That that looks like a fossil. That looks like a bunch of pencil nibs. The bell. Oh. oh what? what? Isn't that cool? Alright, what's that one? That looks like dried out Play-Doh that's like paint painted with gold, gold sparkly stuff. All of those are the same thing. What do you think? It's my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna guess that at first. Yeah, it's my paint, paint pants. Paint. So we've got the snap oh, paints. The snap so and weird. some of your stitching paint that's, pants are really weird. That's they, a you paint them and then they crack when you move, and you end up with all the layers of cracking. All right, how about that? Oh, I like the color scheme. Right? This one's super pretty. The colors look like the the crab. Sandpaper. <laughs> so the red part what? is the sandpaper. The the white part is the, the... The back? Yeah, it's the Velcro on the back. Isn't that trippy? That's doll hair, and that's like a leaf. It does look like a leaf, and that does look like doll hair. It's like a guess. Plastic doll hair and a leaf. Okay. So... Oh. <laughs> That part's a feather, and then the, the like, pink part is that the the fuzzball. What? This one's one of my favorites. What? It's the end, end stone, and end stone <laughs> in the end sky. It's cardboard. <laughs> so <laughs> the picture on the bottom is the corrugated part. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Okay, what do you think? That's that is? something like. Wool, or like woven. woven. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yep, you're right. It's a headband. <laughs> okay, what do you think of that is? This one's grass, and this one's like that looks like earth. <laughs> yeah. A very dirty paintbrush. Those are the tips of the bristles, and that's part of the metal part that holds the bristles <laughs> in. Oh. What do you think those are? That's letters on that is something. Letters. You're right, it is letters on and something. And that's like a sponge thing. It does look like a sponge. Parts of the tool kit for my microscope. Uh, K? Okay. What do you think that is? That's something weird and that's something weird. <laughs> that's like, that's like, that looks like part of the moon and that's like a moon rock. Like, a super cool alien, part of an alien spaceship. I think that's a great guess. It's my microscope. So the black part is the side, and then the metal part is um, part of the knob. Okay, how about that? Um, that, like, parts of my old tooth. <laughs> my old Barbie guess. toothbrush. That's a really good guess. That's my, my old Barbie toothbrush. This is actually parts of one of the antique slides for my antique microscope. So the pink thing is a feather and the blue part is the label. Oh, my goodness. This is all of the pictures. Yeah, I took with a microscope. Yeah. Which one did Tyler choose? That one. <laughs> so, the way that, like, the petals looked, um, it reminded me of, like, walls or, uh, or curtains. So I just decided to draw uh, this little me just peeking out of yep. behind the corner. Yep. I... <laughs> exactly like that. Yeah, it's really cute. Alright, let's see which one Samantha picked. Mm. That one! The headband! So you brought in some forest sprites yeah. from our forest mural. Yeah. And then you used Gotcha Club. Yeah. You made a girl. I like Gotcha Club because you get 
examples of a lot of eye shapes and mouth shapes and poses. I think it helps you be a better artist because you're, you're, you can experiment with all of those things in order to create the emotion that you want to. In some of my animations, I actually used the poses for like a reference. It's a nice reference for a lot of things, I think. But then you brought in my um, splashy monster from the camping video. I love it. Which one did I choose? Green bug. It's the green beetle. So I was inspired by Minas Morgul um, from Return of the King, and I took a bunch of pictures of Sam for inspiration. I decided to do sort of a, it's like the magic school bus kids go to Minas Morgul <laughs> to explore. I don't know, it's very strange, but it is on a green beetle leg after all, so. Uh, I used Sam as reference for the poses for the kiddos, <laughs> and here I'm doing the line work. Um, so we did the rough line work in blue, and then the cleanup line work in black, and now I'm doing color blocks, and then in a second I'll start shading. And I was just using a translucent brush um, with soft edges and dark blue. Um, on multiply so that it was creating all of these shadows really fast and easy. I could just draw them in. I take black back on on my regular thing and just draw and then and make it translucent. Yeah, that's you, what I do. You can do the same thing if you're using paint and you can do washes to do shadows. It's a lot quicker than painting each individual color individually. <laughs> Now we're doing details on all their little faces. I did some little highlights and then eventually I decided to make them bolder. And now I'm working on the background. I'm gonna make it look a little bit more like they're exploring a cave or something. Oh, and then I was playing with um, the bubble embossed to give them some light on their features and I decided late 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 in the game that the ones that are looking over the edge I wanted to um, have some light coming up from underneath there were definitely two light sources on the beetle and um, so I wanted to make them match sort of their surroundings here it is finished I put a um, greeny blue filter over it so that they looked more like they were part of the environment looking over the edge of the bridge and then these ones are gonna go explore at the end of the bridge <laughs> didn't they watch the movie <laughs> all right what do you think that is that's like salt that's you think it's salt mm. i think it's a bunch of like beads beads that's a good guess it's actually the end. <laughs> With salt. I'm right. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to join the guild, check out our Patreon for more fun stuff. It's so fun.